Math homework is like a spoonful of bitter medicine. It's unpleasant, but we tell them it's good for you. It's easy to believe that assigning numbers 1 through 21 odd will somehow make my students better at math. I don't think it's that simple. Think back to your own experiences with math homework or your children's experiences. Are they fun learning opportunities or is it more of an ordeal? I love math now, but I remember dreading math homework as early as third grade. I asked my students this year to write a little bit about their experiences, and many of them pointed out that practice is necessary for learning math well, but they pointed out that there are some side effects of having to do that practice at home. They talked about side effects such as boredom, frustration, anxiety, confusion, even sleeplessness. With these kinds of side effects, we have to ask ourselves how much learning is really occurring when they do their homework. So I like to incorporate practice a different way. I like to work with my students as much as I can during class. So to give you an idea of what this might look like, on a typical day, we might be working on the Pythagorean theorem. You probably remember the formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, yes. <laughs> so as I work, I walk around the classroom, I saw that one group where the students are looking at a visual proof of that theorem. They're actually cutting out squares and triangles, comparing the areas, and I hear one student explaining it beautifully to another. So I move on. I find another student who's a little bit stuck on a problem just applying the theorem, finding the side length of a triangle. I'm able to actually stop and guide him through the problem so that he's able to approach the next one on his own. And then maybe I have a student who says, okay, I'm done, that was easy. I talk to her a little bit and I see she really understands the theorem. So I ask her to look at a different question, just a small tweak. What about a cubed plus b cubed equals c cubed? How is that different? What does that look like geometrically and can you find any nice round numbers that fit into that equation? I absolutely love working with my students this way during class. I learned so much about them that I could never learn by grading their homework. So it brings up a lot of questions. Questions like, could we increase our students' interest in mathematics if we were to stop forcing or bribing them to work on it in their free time? Could we increase our students' confidence in mathematics if we were to give them all a secure place to practice? Can we take the time to work one-on-one -on -one with our students, even when we're being pressured to cover more and more content? And finally, can an engaged, interactive classroom where each student gets attention from the teacher make homework seem obsolete?